Today let us look at couple of predefined macros. It works out of the box. So sometimes it's called as magic constants. So let me show you a couple of them. I'll output the return value directly onto the console window. So this predefined macro outputs the name of current file as a string literal. So double underscore file all in capitals followed by double underscore. That's it. Save the file. Let me compile and run this. So it returns the complete path and the file name of where this source code is being returned. So similarly, we have other predefined macros like date. It returns current system date as string literal again. So we are using percentage s here. So the name is double underscore capital letter date followed by double underscore. Similarly, we have time. It, it also uh, returns current system date as string literal double underscore time followed by double underscore. We have, we also have timestamp. It also returns date and time non-standard by the way as string literal. So percentage S double underscore timestamp followed by double underscore. Now one more thing, the line, the line number where this predefined macro is already is is actually present so it returns line number so its return type is its return type is number percentage d so double underscore line followed by double underscore it should return 9 as return value so another thing stdl it returns 1 when the compiler compiles with ansi standards so it returns one. So its return type is integer. So we are using percentage D. So double underscore STD C, this one, the last one. You can't open it because it is open declaration, the built-in type. So let me have this STD C double underscore. Uh, let's see, let's return function name where this a predefined macro is present so double underscore it returns string literal by the way double underscore in smaller case func f-u-n-c followed by double underscore you could even use another uh, built-in predefined macro which works in your gcc compiler too so percentage s double underscore pretty single underscore function it's single underscore by the way here function followed by double underscore so let's compile and check if there are any errors here compile and run it we have so many of them right now okay there are no errors so the first one it returns file name along with the path the date system current date current system timestamp and time here line number which is nine here Okay, so we are using ANSI standard compiler. So the function name is main, both, both those things return the function name itself. So these are a couple of predefined macros. If you know any, any such predefined macros, please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video and comment there with what it does actually. So all these predefined macros will be very useful for developers while debugging and checking the code written by someone else like that. So these are some of the use cases where we, wherein we use these predefined macros. For example, line number. Whenever there, there is an error, we need line number of that error, right? So in that case, this compiler makes use of such predefined macros. So timestamp, a function name, file name, all these, all these things will be very useful in big projects where multiple teams are handling a single big project, okay? So that's it. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes, and discussion about this topic. And please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.